Hey, what's up guys? This is Coach Matt. I just wanted to show you a version of a band chest press that you can do even if you don't have an anchor. Um, one thing I see a lot of people do too when they do chest presses is they tend to set up in a way that's very awkward. I was just trying to find a video um, to demo this for a client on YouTube and everyone sets up like this and they kind of press out. And while you're getting some resistance, most of what's happening is that band is rubbing on your arm and it's creating a secondary press point, right? So instead of the, the anchor being behind my back and being able to press out from there, the anchor and where I'm actually pressing from ends up becoming this like double lever from here. So it's just an awkward way to press and I see most people doing band presses like that. What I like to do is get that band set up across the palm diagonally under the thumb. So if I go behind my back, hook the two thumbs, and then pull the palms through. So I'll show that one more time. Band behind the back, hook the thumbs, and then all I'm gonna do is shift those palms through so I have a nice diagonal line across the base of the palm, which is just how we would hold like a kettlebell handle or the like, okay? Now I'm gonna get it set up on my back, and I can set up in a stagger stance, in a bilateral stance, I just wanna be a little bit active, but now as I punch, you can see the anchor stays on my back rather than on my arm. It's coming around the armpit and I'm not getting that rubbing action. So that's a nice way to be able to do a chest press like that or even alternating one press out at a time, pressing with the other one. If you have a lighter band that you feel like, even if you're, as you're doing this chest press, because it takes a little bit of time to get the tension where then I'm actually pressing through. So like, I don't really feel a ton of tension until I'm already about past 90 degrees at the elbow. There's a couple things you can do. The first thing is you can actually tie a knot in your band. And this is just essentially shortening it. Now it's not always going to be a perfect solution. Um, ooh, this might be too tight now, <laughs> but now when I get set up, that's a lot harder. Uh, the other thing you can do, which I like, is turn it into, if you have a lighter um, band, turn it into more of a dynamic movement, like a jack. So I can set up in that same way and almost do like jab cross, jab cross, and get a little bit more dynamic movement in there, really reach through one, two combos get the heart rate up a little bit. And that way, even if it's lighter, you don't need as much resistance for that throwing that punch. You don't want a heavy, slow, sluggish punch. You want it to be able to be something that can be really quick, but just give you a little bit of resistance. So that's a freestanding band chest press. Hope those ideas help and I'll